I think the Champions of Magic show is like a roller coaster. There's so much content in it. You see every type of magic in the show. So we got, you know, close-up magic, stage illusion, mind reading, manipulation. So if you've never been to a magic show before, I think it's the perfect one to start with because, you know, you're going to see everything in one evening. We sort of fell in love with uh, the larger scale magic, but when we were kids, we didn't have any money for it. It's quite expensive. So we started off with simple things like cardboard boxes. And in fact, the first illusion we ever learned together is still in the show. It's the, our opening trick and it uses just a cardboard box and some wooden stakes from a local DIY store. And um, yeah, now we've got a little bit more money, we can afford yeah. glamorous assistants <coughs> and, you know, yeah. other amazing... Brushed aluminium, yeah. Brushed aluminium, yeah. yeah. We do this routine, which is uh, sort of a tribute to 80s Las Vegas, and it's ridiculous. But it's high energy, fast paced, lots of illusions. We dance around like idiots, and it's just so much fun to perform. Unlike when you go and see a musical or something and you just sat there and you know you're just going to watch a show, you know, that's what keeps this show exciting, it's what keeps the energy high. There's a moment in the show where we f throw out some frisbees and even if you're sat right in the back, there's a chance you're going to be on stage in a few seconds time. So that's also what keeps the show different every night. When we bring people up on stage, you never know what's going to happen. So uh, it's exciting to watch. Also, ma magic's an art form which is best experienced live. Okay, you, you watch magic on television, it's very easy to sit there and with your arms folded and go, well, if, you know, is that a camera trick? Could, would that really happen to me if that... But because it's so interactive and there's the, you're sort of breaking that fourth wall to the audience, is that it sort of um, bespells any myth they could be stooges or actors or anything like that. That is my favourite bit, meeting the kids in the meet and greet after the show because the kids come up and you can see the expression on their faces and they, they don't lie really, kids, do they? So you're getting an honest picture or an honest reflection of what they thought of the evening. It's so infectious and they're bouncing off the walls, they are buzzing. So nice to see. I like it when the kids don't understand your accent. That's true. That's That's quite, that happens quite a lot. <laughs> they queue up to meet you and then they don't understand a word you say. It's quite funny, really. <laughs> it's the holiday season. Yeah, Why is, would yeah. you not come and see the show in the holiday season? It works for everybody. So kids, grand grandparents, everyone in between. Everyone's going to have a great time. This is not just a show for a certain type of person who likes a certain type of theatre. They're going to have a great time. Uh, no matter whether you've been to 10 magic shows or you've never been to one, you're going to have a great time at Champions of Magic. Also, it really is fun. There's lots of variety, lots of energy, lots of different stuff going on. It's just a fun, fun evening. <laughs>